Hi, I wanted to do a quick walkthrough of my 2016-2017 Happy Planner. This is the first time that I'm using it. Uh, it's basically from, I've seen a lot of reviews on YouTube about how good it is. And I can honestly say that it is, I really do enjoy it and I love it. The, the majority of the other books that I use have been the um, ones from Target. So, okay, so I got this one with little flowers. I like it. Then I also grabbed the bands. They came with three of them. A gold one, a blue one, and a pink one. I grabbed all this from um, Hobby Lobby. Every time I would go and use my 40% off. Then this pencil is actually from the Dollar Spot in Target. I like using pencils. I use sometimes markers, but the gel ones, but I really don't like them because it um, gets painted on the other side. I don't like that. I have to wait or blow on it until it dries up and I really, I don't have the time for that. So first of all, I got some inserts. As you can see, I have to go develop a picture. I want to develop pictures, two pictures of my children and put them right here. But I also got these from, I think they're also from the Happy Planner, but I'm not sure they are. Um, this one also just put little, you know, words of what they are. Live a colorful life, live well, go, work it out, my life. Then I double-sided them. So let me go ahead and do on this side. Here's my first page. And then here's the 2016 and 2017, the layout of it. I like that, so I'll go ahead and circle them probably for important dates. Next, here's my July one. So basically, this is, you know, it's coming up already with the end. We're the end, I'm already getting it prepped. Um, this right here, you know, I don't have any birthdays in July, so I just put this little sticker right here. Then my goals for this month, paint his bath, paint the master, um, do a computer class, paint my foyer and take computer in for fixing and my important buy for this month is the get CLE math three the set for our kid for homeschooling here this page it basically came I think with 40 pages in all together and I'm going to put this at the beginning of each month and put my um, monthly budget here of what my expenses are you know be are going to be like mortgage gas, um, uh, cable, electricity, cell phone bill, things like that. So then I know total. And in the back are going to be my actual expenses. Like when I go to the store, any expenses that I have, I will annotate it here. So I know at the end of the month what how much expenses I have accumulated. And I will show you at the end of the month of July what it looks like. Next, I inserted in between here, this month I inserted the exercise planner it's six. It's a, a four month planner part of it, and I really like it. Take care of your body. It's the only place you. It's the only place you have to live in. And it comes. It's um not dated. You have to put date it yourself. But it comes with all the things for it. And these are little stickers that I added to it. I put July and I dated it one two three. I haven't filled it up that much. I just put it in right here. I put um, the weigh in. So on every Sunday, I plan to weigh in. And I'll go ahead and show you on Monday, this coming Monday, what my weigh in is. So you will see, you know, the process that I have. Next, I have this tab right here. This tab comes with three of them. It comes with a blue, a pink, and a clear one. And it comes with little sayings of, of it. I put it on this one and I put it also on my July one. Um, for, so for the exercise one, I have right here my weekly goals. So I'll run every day, two evening runs, weekend long run, and cut, the, uh, cut, on, cut on caffeine. And right here is basically, you know, I haven't done it that well. But put your meals, you know, breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, and dinner, your calorie total. And then your type of exercises. I've been running, I've been doing this exercises, as you can tell, but 
I just keep forgetting to put my water intake in there. And here's some of the other side. So let's see, there's the one, two, and three. And here it is. Well, my exercise are gonna be. I really enjoy it. It comes with one, two, three, four, five weeks for every month. And at the end of the month, it had at the end of the, the package thing comes with the picture for you to take. Um, how was I successful? What didn't I do? What didn't go so well? What can I do differently? How do I feel? What motivates me? And I give myself how many stars? I think right here, I'm going to go ahead and put my, um, my monthly goal that I want to go ahead and do. So then this part right here is already the July planner one. So here is my overall monthly layout. I added these little stickers to it. Fourth of July party, little stickers. And that's it. And I'm gonna put right here like birthdays, any important stuff, appointments, things like that for me to remember. And that's it. Next is my actual weekly layout. See, as you can tell, this is my, ta my tab for this week. These are the groceries that I just did. If you wanna see my grocery haul for this week, just go ahead and um, look, it's grocery haul and menu planning. And as you can tell, this is from Thursday on till Sunday. I like the layout, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, um, morning, after lunch, in the evening. And it comes with June, July. I added a little notes, a little sticker of to do and appointments. What's important, my menu for the week. I shop on Wednesdays. My plans, for instance, today, I had to take my son to school. I had to pick up, dust, do one little laundry, go to a drop off, bank, grocery, sleep, some YouTube videos. I haven't done my June favorites one. Um, and I added another one, pick up our son, uh, pick up dining room, store yards of items, garden, trim and cut, and homeschool for one hour. Cook um, dinner, water the garden, homeschool setup for tomorrow, and 10 minute pickup at the end of the day. So basically that is my, my actual setup for every day. Like today I will sit down at the end of the day and I will look at my Thursday schedule and see if I'm actually gonna have, you know, accomplish that. If not, that's why I have a pencil. I will erase it and I'll put something else in there. So it has July, this is the month of August, this is for exercise, and this is from an actual planner. Look how nice this is, the color. And look at the layout. September. Monthly layout. November. <laughs> December. I love this one. It's my son playing with his cars, Lego cars. Hi. January. I'm not sitting down. Huh? I'm not sitting down. Okay. Down. February. March. April.
April. I also inserted at the end a little pocket holder. I got it from the Happy Planner. It came with, I think, six of them, six different styles. And that's it. It actually is goes. It doesn't end. It doesn't end in April. It ends in December. But I took out the other months so I could put in my um, my exercise log in here, and I didn't want it to be that thick. So seriously, this planner is awesome. Look how you take them off. Which one is this one? You can one? so easily okay. insert them back. These two. This one's not. I this one. I love this planner. Everything is removable. You could adjust it. You could fix it to the way that you want it. I hope you enjoy this video. And I will go ahead and <clears throat> let you guys go. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to comment below. Bye. Bye.